Have you managed to download the Sherlock tool? If you did, congrats. If not, let's see how we can get it and what we can do with it. So if you haven't already, open up your Firefox and type Sherlock GitHub. The first link should be at the original link of the tool that should lead you to this GitHub page. Once you're on the Sherlock page, you should see all of the files that belong to this tool. Down here, we will see the installation, so how we can install the tool. And right here, we will also see the usage. But before we check out the usage of the tool, let us go and download Sherlock first. So we already know how we can do that. Just copy the link to this tool, open up your terminal, and type git clone, and then paste the link of the tool. Press enter, and this should automatically download the tool for us. We can see this tool is a lot larger than the Red Hawk since it took a little bit more time to download. And once it finishes downloading, we should type ls and we will see the Sherlock folder inside of our desktop directory. Let us navigate to that folder. And if I type ls in it, we should see all of these files that we saw on this page right here. Good. Let us close this. We are not going to be checking anything on this page anymore. And outside of all of these files, we want to go to this Sherlock folder. So if I go cd Sherlock and type ls right here, here is the tool. It is a Python tool and we know that this is the tool since it is named Sherlock.py. All these other Python files are simply just the additional files for this tool that is probably getting imported inside of this. So to run this, we can type the command python3 and then Sherlock. Hmm, no module named tool request. So this could either mean one of two things. This tool is supposed to be ran with Python 2 or this module does not exist for Python 3. And if you get an error that some module doesn't exist, what you want to do is you want to type pip3 install and then the name of the module. So I can just copy this, copy selection and paste it right here. Let's see whether we can download this module. And it seems that the requirement has already been satisfied, so it could be that we're missing this module for Python 2. Let's try first to run it once again, after running this command. So this command actually did something. As it says, it performed building of wheels for collected packages, and it managed to resolve our problem. So now we can run the tool. It does give us an error right here, but this is just a syntax error that tells us that some arguments are required, such as usernames. So let me just clear the screen and type python3 sherlock.py once again. And here are all of the available options that we can use with Sherlock. But the basic usage of this tool is specifying python3 sherlock.py and then after it comes a username. What this tool will do with that username is it is going to search through a bunch of different platforms for the same username. So if you, for example, had a username that you discovered for some domain or for some company, and you want to discover whether that person has some other accounts with the same username, you can throw it in this tool and it will find you all the other accounts that have that same username. What are we going to use here? Do you remember our harvester tool? It didn't work once we tried it out, but what I did a few minutes ago is I ran the command on the same domain that didn't work previously once we tried it before. I also put the source to be Twitter, so it managed to find 10 users that have Twitter, and these users are discovered from this domain. If I go and copy any one of them, and let's go with keyframes, and throw it in this tool, I should be able to discover other accounts that have this same username. So here we already got this one, and by the way, this is not really a unique username, so it might be that this account, for example, doesn't belong to the same person. But if you were to find a unique username, such as, for example, maybe this one, or this one, or even this one, and throw it inside of this tool, and you manage to discover some other accounts, those accounts will probably belong to that person. But if the username was something like media, 
and we put media inside of the Sherlock tool, well then most likely all of those accounts will not belong to the same person. Okay, so here is our output and it managed to discover a bunch of other accounts that also have the same username. So let's try with another username. If I go all the way down and control C this, then clear the screen. And let's pick, for example, this username, copy it, and I throw it inside of this tool once again. Let us see whether we manage to find another platform that has this same account. So it seems that most of them are giving us not found. Let's wait for final results. And here they are. So we already get the output for Wikipedia. We got our username that we discovered from the Twitter profile. If I go all the way up, let's see whether we managed to find something else. And it seems that all of the others have not found. And here is also a Cash Me profile with the same username. So that is another result that we managed to gather. Okay, great. So that would basically be it for this tool. Now, another thing that this tool does is it also saves our results in a file. So if I go and control C this, clear the screen and type LS. Oh, never mind. It seems that it didn't save it. Maybe if we specified an option for it to save, let us run the help menu. No such far old directory. Yeah, that's because we are in a wrong folder. So let me go to the Sherlock folder and run the Python 3 Sherlock.py dash dash help. And yeah, we actually probably had to run this output command and after the output we specify the file name and the output of the result will be saved to this file. So it doesn't save it by default. And you can also check out other options as well. But the purpose of this and previous video was to figure out how we can download additional tools. You might never use this tool again, or you might use it every time. It depends on which type of penetration tests you perform and what kind of strategy you plan for your attacks. But it is always good to have a bunch of different tools and options that you can use. Now that we know how we can download tools from GitHub, every time a certain tool breaks or you don't get the desired result with some tool, you can go to GitHub and try to find a similar tool that will give you better results. Okay, good. So in the next video, I will give you a bonus tool that I created in Python 3 that will be able to gather much more emails than the already built-in tools in Cal Linux.